Yeah. Good day. So it's um, July 29th, 2010, and uh, Twyla and I are just about to leave Bassano, Alberta, uh, making headway for Brooks. It's about a, you know, 50 to 55 kilometer push, and uh, yeah, it's already hot. It's like, I don't know, maybe, I think it's about 9 a.m., and uh, some other good news, uh, we've just connected with a gentleman who is literally hooking us up with a trailer, which is totally sweet. Um, so uh, we've got the hitch on, and we've got the ball. Now we're just uh, we're having to experience some uh, coordinating as we're changing up drivers for a couple of days. So our other driver um, is going to be coming out and uh, basically uh, hooking up the uh, the trailer. Uh, on Monday, so this is totally awesome. So it's July 28, 2010, and I'm standing here with um, with Adam uh, Seaman from, and forgive me, what was the name of your company? Desert Sales. Desert Sales, who's uh, generously uh, hooked us up with a with a trailer for the uh, for the Marathon of Freedom. So we just want to thank you so much, brother. You know, yeah, yeah you made this uh, this trip. Uh, you know, it's forming into the dream that it's. Uh, Glad we can help. Awesome. Good luck. Thanks, thanks, Adam. So, as I'm pushing along here, you know, there's plenty of time to think, contemplate. You know, a lot of times I, off and on, my awareness is, is rather expanded into the uh, the vastness of it all. And then uh, other times it's much more local. I kind of, you know, bring it home and I'm much more in my head and in my body. Always in my heart, though. Regardless, the smell of horse manure is thick out here. And I'm having to breathe deeply. I'm wondering if it's uh, helping me. <laughs> It's minging, you know, I'm almost chewing on it. Anyways, I guess some of the things that I've been uh, contemplating to do with the journey, uh, at least in myself, and just the next stages that uh, potentially can go to. For example, a, uh, you know, there's been lots of, um, lots of talk and but lots of advice and uh, saying, you know, Sonny, it's about time you put this uh, or move this into a, you know, a bit of a non-profit thing, non-profit company. And I, I like the idea. Just to invite more, more support, make a bigger container to accept and receive bigger donations, for example. A lot of the legwork has been done. Twyla and I have already created a a foundation, and we're building upon it every day. Now, you know, there's still a lot of administ administrative work to do, and it may mean that I have to go off the road to do it. And this is just one of my, this is just what I'm contemplating. But you know what? I don't want to wait. If it's, if it's something I can get done on the road, with your help, then I'll do it. I want to do it. Life doesn't wait. I don't want to wait to... I don't want to wait to set up my life. Yes, I've got a good, a good start. And yes, I'm a bit of a ready, fire, aim kind of guy. <laughs> but that's okay, you know? Here I am. I'm doing it. I'm on the road. And I'm resolving to keep going. And create a bigger container at the same time. I'm asking for your help. I'm asking you to share what I'm doing with everyone you know. Please support the Marathon of Freedom. This is a... Uh, Important. It's important to me, yes. It's important to Twyla. It's important to my family, my friends that have 
been supporting this since I told him about it many moons ago. It's important to my already existing contributors. It's important to those with muscular dystrophy. This is what I want to do. Muscular dystrophy raises money to relentlessly provide research and support for anyone with MD looking and seeking for a cure. Well, how about this? How about inspiring the cure from within yourself? No matter who you are, or if you have MD or not. It's the difference between a cure and healing. Lots of, uh, lots, lots of money has been given to, to charities and... And yes, they do noble work. And they've made huge impacts on people's lives. For example, mine. But, if we are truly staying to the word of the mission, and that is to find a cure for anything, then how about we not wait for science and meet them halfway by learning how to inspire the cure from within yourself. Bringing it out from within you, rather than relying on something, motives outside of yourself. Inspire it from within. Because motives, motivations, are always based on your lowest values, and they're typically things that are outside of you. Most always. Inspiring, in spirit, means to invoke that part of you that is already free. Already free from the disease or the illness itself. If I wait, if I wait any longer to live my life, I will probably manifest cancer. And I don't want to be pushing for cancer. I want to be pushing for life, for freedom. Something that's within all of us inherently. So I'm not waiting. Or suffering while waiting. And why create suffering? Oh, my God.